been a while since I've been back to the old house. My house Carl is here along with two bodyguards. Hopefully they've been taking care of it. What are these cobwebs doing in the corner? Look. What's going on here? There's cobwebs everywhere. What have you people been doing? Don't you know how to clean a house? Look at this place. It's a mess. How am I supposed to sleep in this bed with cobwebs underneath it? And look at them in the corner. Long life to you, Thane. Yeah, whatever. When I come back, this place had better be clean or all three of you are gone. I am your sword and... I don't care what you are. You clean this house. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. After infiltrating the home of Mercer Frey and discovering his plans, Carlia has asked to speak with me Brynjolf. and Brynjolf. I have come to decide Mercer's fate until a new guildmaster is chosen. I almost this forgot his name. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside the rift, beyond the southeast gate, is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clear and an old standing stone. I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the stone. Very well. I'll meet something. you there. I'm wondering if I need more training, but... Uh... time is it? Uh, it's four o'clock in the morning. Just check my weapons here. Probably get some rest though before we go. Rifton's under my protection. You watch yourself now. Hmm. It's been a while since I've been back to the old house. My house Carl is here along with two bodyguards. Hopefully they've been taking care of it. Wait a minute. What are these cobwebs doing in the corner? Look. What's going on here? 
There's cobwebs everywhere. What have you people been doing? Don't you know how to clean a house? Look at this place. It's a mess. How am I supposed to sleep in this bed with cobwebs underneath it? And look at them in the corner. I'm so disgusted. I'm just going to go to sleep. Long life to you, Thane. Yeah, whatever. When I come back, this place had better be clean or all three of you are gone. I am your sword and I don't care what you are. You clean this house. I don't even think I got a good night's sleep. It felt like spiders were crawling on me the entire night. All right, let's get out of here. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm so upset. Let me uh, see about selling off some of this, this stuff. Good. Looking to stay alive? I'm still looking for your ice wraith teeth. My food. See for yourself. Let's see if you can't take some of these things. Oh. I think I better hold on to that. I should put that up in my house. That should lighten the load a little bit. Thank you. Those teeth. Those little bastards are dangerous. Oh, don't I know it. Murdoch. What now? Who are you? Like somebody who needs to have their pick their pocket picked. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Uh oh, what's going on? Somebody help! A bear. I'm getting out of here. Now I would think those three could take care of it. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's see. I think I actually discovered this, uh, 
standing stone when I first came here. I never knew what it was for. I thought this was going to be uh, that other thing, that dragon's tongue. If I ever have some free time, I need to do some more cooking and uh, make some more potions. Yeah, I remember this stone. you're here. What's the significance of this place? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. Well, you're joking, right? There's three of us against one. What kind of edge would we need? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. This way, please. Oh, can't resist these flowers. No telling what kind of potion I could make. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped divert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Brynjolf? I can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? This isn't about religion, Brynjolf. It's business. All right, so folks, I am going to be out of character hard. for a bit here. You're the first of the this mission is badly glitched, and I do have the solution. I will show you if it does indeed occur again. We can begin the oath. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. You appear hesitant to join the Nightingale. It's troubling you. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? We haven't even gotten to the area to uh, put on the Nightingale armor. Now, there has been a, an update to the unofficial Skyrim patch, which I just applied to see if that will fix the problem. Um, otherwise, this is on the PC only, it seems to be. Um, I am going to have to go and use console commands to get through this mission, so let's see what happens. I really hope the patch fixed this. hesitant to don your nightingale armor. What's troubling you? I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. Really? You appear hesitant to don your nightingale armor. Uh-oh. What's troubling you? I wonder if I actually have to put it on, though. I will, because this thing is buggy enough as it is. No. 
I'm a nightingale. Okay, lass. We've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any earthly defeat in Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brindle. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. In the years ahead, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Prey, you can count me. Trying to lure her up here because this is where the, the mission glitches out. Can't open this and she's going to ask me a question. Let's see what happens. Or maybe not. What about you? Okay, here we Are go. Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Yes, I'm ready. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the circle. Okay, see, here's where the glitch starts. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? Alright, she's walking away from the gate. Hold on, folks. Let me see if I can fix this. We'll speak when the oath is complete. So I'm opening up the console command and, and typing in set stage space capital T capital G zero eight capital A space 52 and then hit enter and then the tilde to escape from this uh, console command prompt here and let's see what's happened. Ah good she's walking back to the gate. So unfortunately, you know, I, th I think on consoles this works, this mission, but uh, here on the PC, for whatever reason, this, this is a, a horribly glitched uh, mission. So there's another part to this. I've got to open up the console command again because well, we'll try this. Let's see if maybe the patch might have no, see, I can't use the chain to open the gate. Time so, at least she's here. Still out there. I'm going to open up the command way. console again with the tilde. And I need to highlight the gate and get the, the hexadecimal code for the gate. And then type disable. And when the bars disappear, you know you've gotten the right code. And then I hit the tilde key to get out of command mode. And now I think we, should trust the last we can deal. proceed with the mission. So if any of you are having problems uh, with this uh, quest and you're on the PC, this is how you fix it. So I'm going to go back into character. I'm going to stop talking now. And good luck to all of you. I call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk and Empress of Shadow. 
Hear my voice. Ah, Carlia. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Carlyle. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for mercy's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, your grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturna, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale, and I restore your status to the same, Carlisle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. So now I'm a Nightingale. I don't feel any different, though, to be honest. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Uh-oh. Mercer's true crime. You're joking, right? He's actually done more than kill Gallus, betray the Thieves' Guild, steal everything that they've owned? How could there possibly be more? Mercer was able to unlock the Guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre, the Skeleton Key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. I hope you're telling the truth. I could use more power. The Guild should possess this item. Although it would benefit the Guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence, and whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. First time I ever set out to return something. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. All right, let's do it. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Hmm. Why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> this has been my plan all along. Oh, me? What about you? I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it. Don't want it. Well, it certainly is a ragtag bunch, but I could use your resources to help me restore my memory fully and take revenge on those who left me for dead. 
It's about time you asked. Ha. Spoken like the leader of the Thieves Guild. Just don't lose yourself in the robe. We have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation. I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Telvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Then let's get to it. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falmer are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. I guess we're nightingales now. Aye, and some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. Do you think you stand a chance against Mercer? Because when I come up against him, he's going to die. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Carlia. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Until next we meet, Lot. Yes, until then. All right, the Trinity has been restored. Until next time.